Hey there guys, this is going to be notifications in iOS 5 we are showing right here on the iPhone 4. Uh, this is going to be iMessage. As you can see right here, the, the colors are different. They are blue now instead of the regular green for iMessage. You can see the message sending, it says waiting for delivery. It says delivered. Uh, wait a couple seconds because it's faster than sending a regular text message. Uh, we should see bubbles appear, yes, and so I know he's replying and then he replies just like that next thing we're going to go to is the slide down top bar where you can have weather, stocks at you can go ahead and click on your weather application and uh, uh, they updated the weather application from the original iPhone so you can now click on the days and look at the times of weather reminder is a brand new app to the iPhone in iOS 5 where you can remind yourself to do tasks and uh, you can set geolocations now in iOS 5, which should be coming out in fall, which should be September 23rd is the first day of fall. In Reminders, you can go through completed tasks. You can search them by date, as you can see I'm doing by, at below. I go to the home page. Newsstand is another new feature in here where you could put magazines and papers in there that download automatically. In the App Store now, they've also made it so you can view what you've purchased before and what are not on your phone, iPad, or iPod Touched, and you can download them for free. That goes the same for music on the new iTunes that should be coming out along with iOS 5. You could look at the latest, you could, I mean not the latest, you could look at things you have purchased before so you can now re-download music on multiple devices. In the camera application, you are now able to take pictures using the volume up button and um, if this seems a bit laggy to you, the iOS, this is a beta, guys. Uh, the final version will be much faster after they work out some bugs. You can now also have the option to add grid lines. And, of course, HDR is still there. And you can slide left to right when you're in the camera to actually view your photos. You could pinch to zoom now on the new iOS. As you can see, I am doing right now. And I slide to the left and right, I can view my camera roll. Next thing I want to go into, I believe, is going to be the latest Safari. Uh, the Safari on the on iOS 5 is uh, no different than the Safari on the iOS 4.3.3 or 4.2.8. As you can see, this is a Verizon iPhone, not the AT&T model. So on the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch, there is no changed browser, just the iPad has the full tabs now. I scroll down again, look at my notification menu. Home page. You can still clear your apps like normal in iOS 5 as you would expect. And on the new music application, oh, I mean not new, I'm not new, it's the same music application. But as you can see, my notification at the top is unintrusive, unlike the old iOS, where it came up with a uh, a blue, a dark blue sign where you could press close and reply that got in your way. But now it doesn't get in your way. They've also added a videos section on here, and now it's not integrated into the music. And you can go under shared uh, libraries in the house and watch movies. As um, since it's the videos, I could go ahead and click on this and stream movies straight from my iTunes on my computer to my iPhone. After it preloads for a bit, you can watch them and just walk around the house without them being loaded on your iPhone. One of the next thing I want to go to is the lock screen notifications. As you can slide your finger across notifications on your lock screen to get a more in detail depth here. Let me type in my passcode so you guys can't see it. It goes straight to your messages as it normally would, but now you can read them and you can see what they're for and who they're from and uh, reply better that way. And they will still be in your notifications menu at the top if you don't click on all of them. And you can go ahead and press the little X. I'll show you in a second. You can go ahead and press the X and clear the messages if you're done with all of them. And that is going to be my review of iOS 5, guys. Thanks for watching.